Hi there. We live in unsettling times, don't we? We're confined to our homes mostly. We're not quite sure what the future holds. Things are uncertain for us. What will happen with our health if the virus wreaks its havoc through our country? What will happen with the health of our family? What will happen with our economy? What will happen with our whole way of life? We're not sure. And some of us are suffering. For some, it's the suffering of, of the relatively minor inconvenience of, of being confined at home. But for others of us, it is the suffering of, of the isolation, of the restriction, of perhaps extra responsibilities, of having to look after relatives or look after children in a more intense way than we're normally used to. So it's a tough time for us. James says in his letter that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. We're certainly living through times that are testing and the question is are we going to learn perseverance through them? If you're like me you sometimes haven't got the patience to learn perseverance. I want things to happen quickly, immediately. I don't want to invest the time. I haven't got the patience for learning perseverance and patience. And God has taken us through a time when we are having to be patient, where we are having to wait and learn. And perseverance is partly about just keeping going. And it's a wonderful grace of God that he does as Christians keep us going, keep us going right through to the end. We love older saints who have kept going in their faith through their life, right through to the end of their life. And so perseverance is partly about going through testing times and just holding on to our faith. But I think it's also about developing strength through trials. We persevere and we develop muscles that we didn't realise that we had. We recognise new gifts, new skills, new trust. A strengthening of our faith. And we pray that it might be a time like this, during this confinement, during this suffering in connection with the virus, that we might grow in faith and in grace and in love and in hope. James says the testing of your faith produces perseverance and you know by God's grace we will persevere.